This one's gonna go big! Hello and welcome back to the channel. There is exciting news because we have unchipped ROMs for It's Amazing and that will be the subject of this video. So obviously as per the previous video I was really hoping that somewhere in all of these ROMs here there would be an unchipped version of the £70 ROMs. Niall Quinn of course sent me all those extra ROMs, went through them all, soon became clear that the 3s, the 0.3s were all £35 jackpot and the 0.5s were all chipped and I did make a mistake. I thought that this 0.5 here was like the earliest one and then like your D's and your DK's and your 5K's were all later versions. They were all kind of rechips. but I was wrong about that and it wizard corrected me over at Desert Island Fruits in the release thread. So as you can see what wizard is saying here the suffixes on MPU5 ROMs mean the following. So you've got D data pack, S standard, A gala, B bingo, H message, I don't know what that means, K arcade, that's pretty obvious, R rank, Y key and Z casino and then you can put two of those together and what wizard says there is so for example if you get DY on the end of the, the ROM name, that means it's got a data pack and a key. Now, that doesn't mean, of course, that all of those ROMs are exactly the same. If they were, there would be no point having them. So in the past, of course, arcade ROMs for games. I mean, Red Gaming were, were quite famous for this. Arcade ROMs would be quite streaky and quite volatile, whereas your standard ROMs would be less so and generally speaking pub roms I, mean, I don't know what the pub rom would be here maybe standard would be the pub rom but basically your arcade rom would be a, a quite a bit spicier than the standard rom and if you go far enough back in the day I remember this this was right back in the JP Emu days there were Whitbread ROMs the the Whitbread pub chain asked for ROMs specific to them which were really really flat profile like the jackpots hardly ever repeated there was no kind of streak in them or anything like that because they kind of felt that they didn't want undesirable fruit machine players coming into their establishments so what that means in practical terms is that all of those ROMs there, all of those 0.5s are exactly the same. They're all just different variants, all those variants there on exactly the same ROMs. So the point is, of course, that if your red cash climber has been chipped out on 0.5, then it doesn't matter which of those you're, you're playing. The red cash climber is going to slip. It's going to cheat you on any of them. And, of course, that's what we found out the hard way none of them were workers and we could also see that by the way because they all exhibited that behavior of the collect button kept flashing as you kept, uh, collected the bank out and the thing is on these was if the collect button kept flashing as you collected the bank it was chipped and if the collect button went out it stopped flashing as you collected the bank then it was unchipped but it didn't look like we were going to be able to do it didn't look like we had the ROMs for it however Wizard got in touch with me over at Desert Island Fruits last night. He sent me a PM and said, uh, you might want to try this ROM. I've got a 0.4 for this. He's got a 0.4Y, which means 0.4Y stands for key. I don't know what that means, jackpot key or no jackpot key. I'm not entirely sure, but he sent me over this ROM and said, I think this is a worker because I've collected a bank on it and the collect button stopped flashing so oh thanks very much wizard i'll have a go with that tomorrow and see if it is indeed a worker and i can confirm that this is a worker because i have taken it out to a jackpot on the red cash climber feature you can hit the jackpot so we've got now we have got a doable rom so thank you very much to Wizard for that. Obviously he's got some some super secret stash somewhere that he's managed to pull a 0.4 version of the ROM out of. And that's what we'll be looking at in this video. And of course, I'm not going to keep it to myself. Uh, this will be released publicly and Wizard has confirmed he's more than happy for that to happen. So keep an eye on this forum here. It's a sub forum over at Desert Island Fruit. So you go... From forums, you go, where are we? You go, layouts corner, 
layout RAM plus GAM files and in there what I'll do it won't just be the RAM and GAM file of course it will be the whole layout with the GAM file appropriate or, or tweaked rather or changed for this version of the ROM the ROM will be in there and I will put my RAM file in there because I put a few quid through this now so you're going to have the whole layout that you can just download from Desert Island Fruits uh, in this forum here. You can fire it up yourself and have a go. The reason I'll put my RAM file in there is because I have managed to put, if we have a look here, and thank the Lord, bless the Lord for autoplay. Using autoplay, I've managed to put 434 quid through it in a fairly short period of time, which is not something I could have particularly done manually. And one other thing, by the way, is these ROMs are switchable. If you go into the configuration, it will let you change. In fact, let's just have to drag that down a bit there. It will let you change it to 25p a go. Uh, I think if you want to do the credit cycle thing, where you want to go through the credit cycles, uh, 32 quid's worth of credits, which is 128 credits. Obviously, that's easier on 25p than it is on 30p. So I've changed it here to 25p so it's 25.50 a pound as opposed to 30.50 and a pound so that means that we can get those credits through more quickly so all that said let's just do it let's just get going let's put some money in and the way you want to do this by the way is on 50p a go now the problem with doing it on a pound a go remember that we are trying to maximize our profit here the problem with doing it on a pound a go well there's two problems first of all obviously you're spending more money because we want to maximize our profit we do so on a pound a go we're, we're burning through our cash twice twice as quickly but more importantly than that it's just so so happy to just whack you on the board before you get an upgrade it's constantly spinning in the bonus there or enough numbers to boost you straight up into the board and what you need is trail helds on the way up to the board to give us a chance to get that cash climber right so on the minimum stake you don't turn anything red on 50p ago you turn things red on the way up and you've got more chance of doing it on a pound ago you do turn things red but it just keeps throwing you into the board before you've had the chance to get stuff turned red so the way to do it is on 50p a go and that's how we're going to play it here so what you need to do is get trail helds on the way up so let's go to per session stats by the way i mean you can turn things red once you're on the board there we've got a red cash climber there and it hasn't held you can turn things red once you're on the board but it's pretty painful to do there is an upgrade off the bonus itself and i think you can get it off a mystery too but it's quite hard work so we've got a trail held there but it's not turning our cash climber red so we have to put some more money in and let's have, let's have our hint there so one nudge next well that's going to put us in but we need a hold we need another trail hold don't we because we haven't got our cash climber red maybe it'll give us a hold there it has given us a hold but it hasn't turned the cash climber red <laughs> you bastard and uh, now we've got the jackpot red let's see if we can get another hold there what by the way that's no there's no point holding that there by the way hint maybe we can get the uh one nudge next so we still haven't got it red let's just do it like that and it's still not red so uh, maybe you should actually go into the feature there and, and see if you can get it off an upgrade or something like that what I will say, if I haven't given it a little kick around before, is it does seem less willing to give you the cash climber. If you saw in the previous video, it was like pretty easy to get red cash climber. I think that was because the machine knew that it would just cheat you. It would just cheat you out your jackpot when you got there. Look at that, it's just not going red. Well, he's put us in, so let's have a go. Let's just see if we can turn it red once we're on the board. Whereas on this, it tends to be kind of like the, the last, or well, one of the very last things that you will knock out so what we need to do here is try and get it red so the best way to do that hopefully we'll get a true skill so let's have a look out for a bonus if we can get a bonus there is an upgrade option on the bonus and if it gives us a true skill on that we'll be able to hit it so just keep an eye out for bonus here but it can be very very frustrating this and just do it quite hard work it's, it's very fond did i miss it oh, I Oh, skill stop. There we are. So we can definitely hit that on a bonus. And what we really need, of course, is a true skill on the bonus now. Which it can do. So there's an upgrade in there. Can you see there? There is an upgrade. Which we managed to completely miss. I'm just going to go high. Oh, it fucking it kills you off as well. It loves to kill you off when it doesn't really need to. 
Um, we haven't got the red cash climber there. And now we've got red cash climber, so let's hold them all for the bonus, and hopefully that'll put us in and give us a shot. Oh, super skill shot. Right, okay, right. Now, hopefully we'll be able to get a red cash climber off this. Don feature available. We'll go high, then could give us a true skill dapple on this. And it has, so we're after two feature shots, really, in an ideal world, I think. Well, it's a shit number, though, so we can't gamble once we actually get them. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Two feet shots, there we are. What you may find here, this is what, maybe I just got very unlucky, but it seems to me that it's a lot less willing to shoot Red Cash Climber on this chip. It's, it's like the machine knows that it's actually a genuine jackpot feature, whereas it doesn't have to protect it on the, uh, 0.5 chips, it'll just cheat you on 10 quid or 20 quid. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to go higher than a 2 here. Oh, it let me get away with it. See there. I'll bet you if I'm going to try, I'm going to go lower than a 9. I would not be surprised if this kills me. Fucking fuck. Right, okay. It does seem to protect this far more because on, on the uh, 0.5 chips, yeah, it just knows it can do you. That's no good, so we've got... So it's not as easy, so we'll just go... Let's just get this fucking red cash... No, it's not held there. Do I... I don't really want to... See, I could hold them all for the bonus, but I haven't got my red cash climbing yet, so you need to... Oh, fuck. And that may just put... So I could probably get out of it here, couldn't I? In fact, so... In fact, you know what? Wind spin might be a way of doing it, because wind spin... Do... There we are. Wind spin does turn things red as you gamble up, so that might be a way of doing it as well. Any chance there? Is that going to turn Cash Climber? It should turn a few things red. I'm not going to get away with this gamble, am I? Ah! <laughs> it's not as easy as it seems. This is on a... Uh, again, we haven't got Red Cash Climber there. It has held again, but I've got no Red Cash Climber. And it... Oh, come on. Yeah, I know it's a bad fuck. I mean, it's actually... Considering the drift that this thing has got in its favour... It's not making this easy for us, is it? So, come on. We have had one shot at it so far. There we are, red cash climb. So we'll hold them all for a bonus. Numbers in view, that will put us in at least. We just need that shot on the red cash climb. I remember, I haven't hit the bloody thing yet. I have hit it before. When I was practicing this before, I did hit it. But you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get all stressy on the video. And make a terrible mess of it. But we'll see. Let's see what happens. Let's not, let's not tempt fate too much. Two feature shots. No, it just doesn't like to give it, you see. So, sh super shot, there's, there's no real reason to... Uh, oh, we're out again into the wild. What the fuck? Get you tight, tight bastard. So, we're actually a few bob in it. Uh, we haven't got a red cash climber there. Maybe just play for wins is the way to do it. Hint, what's our hint? Numbers in view next. Well, that's not really useful. Oh, there we are. Right, okay. So we, we, we've got our red cash climb. One nudge next. So the way to do that is clearly that there, isn't it? There we are. So we, we're in. And we've got a red cash climber. We've got an extra zone. And let's just see. Let's go for a lower on that because we might get a true skill dapple, which we have. So there's two feature shots in there. You just may have to potentially wait a little while for it. And it's possible one of the other choices is better here. And it will make... There we are, two feature shots. Come on, just hit that bastard, will you? No, it hasn't. I'm certainly not going to gamble on a five. Okay, cash pot's getting a little bit... Oh, skill stop, that's good, and we've got an 11, so we're going to get four shots here, hopefully. Unless it really wants to play the arse. Oh, there we are, red cash climber! Oh dear, well, this is the moment of truth. Come on, Degsy, you can do it. Right, here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get the fear. I'm gonna fuck this up. Right, come on, Degsy. Oh, come on, if you can't hit that, get out of the free machine game, seriously. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, jackpot. Here we go, come on. There! Wait! <laughs>
Okay, and there is our jackpot. You will never, ever, ever get that off the 0.5 ROM. So what you would do now is go back down to 25p, and we're just checking now that it's boarding. We're just, we're just checking that it's still prepared to put us on the board. I can foresee the Super hold next. Well, that's obviously a board. Oh, well, actually, I'm just three. You know what? Yeah, it does. Of course, it, it, we're on the board. So what you want to do now is you put through. Let's just kill that off. Let's just let's fuck it off. So what I'll do now is so let's get that up. Let's get the bank up to thirty-two quid. There we are. So what I'm going to do now is just play off thirty-two pounds of credits on twenty-five p a go. As quickly as I can, I'll bring the video back when I've done that. We're going to go back up to 50p, and then we're going to try and get our red cash climber again, and then see if we can do it once more after that. Right, so here we are coming to the end of our £32. It takes a little while on bloody 25p a go. So there we are, that's 32 well, a little bit more than £32 of credits. So we'll put another five in. We're going to put our stake up to 50p, because that gives us the option to get things turning red on the way up. When it holds, I'm not going to hold that, because of my cash climb. Oh, it's fucking put me straight in. I mean, do you... Is it worth trying to go round and see if you can get an upgrade off it? See, there is an upgrade in there, but it just doesn't, it doesn't like to fucking hit it, to be honest with you. It's a bit painful getting it. I might just kill this off. Maybe if you were doing the real thing, you'd be a little bit more patient with it, but... Let's just see if we can land on one more... If we can land on one more bonus, I'll have a go at it. So that's a £20 red cash shot there, so we are fairly... Oh, that might... Mm, let's continue. I'll give it one more go on a bonus. Not even sure if you would bother doing this. There is, by the way, you can actually try and, and some people have said in the comments to the previous video that they actually just did this like a flicker and just got the money out of, or, or got a little bit of profit out of the uh, the game there because you can do it like a flicker once you do your 32 quid of credits and all that stuff. You can guarantee yourself basically either a 35 or a 70 pound box or the Mega Street box, of course. Not as much money in it that way, but that was immune to the chip. When it was chipped, you could still play it like a flicker just for the game. Again, that has been covered previously in the flicker video, and that was what some people say they did because then you didn't have to worry about whether or not it was chipped. I don't think this is going to give me another fucking bonus, in fact. Super Street. Can I just land on a bonus? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Oh. So yeah, it's pretty painful. Uh, that's, uh, there we are, we have got a bonus. Maybe we can hit it off an upgrade off this. Nah, it's, it's really hard work to do. So I think you need... I think you need to be cash, uh, cash climber to be red at feature entry. I mean, the machine is pretty happy. But f from my own experience with playing the flickers... Um, that they can be like 20 quid happy, 25, maybe 30 quid happy, but they can still be a long way off wanting to actually pay a jackpot. They just, uh, and they'll knock every, and I mean fucking everything, they will knock everything out. I do not think that this is jackpot board. I think this is going to have me before it pays a jackpot, even though you think you'd be kind of fancy your chances here. I can Let's hold one for extra maze icon. That's no good, is it? little bit. Oh, we might get a true skill dapple off that. And we haven't. And it's hit white. <laughs> it's hit, oh, after all that, it's hit a white cash climb. What do you think my chances are of winning that gamble? Oh! <laughs> Look at that, you dirty, dirty bastard. It's got a fucking app here. Do we a super shot or cash shot? Doesn't matter. It's not going to give me a jackpot. I'm telling you now. This board is going to kill me here. It's going to kill me before... Oh. <laughs> Press hold one to upgrade position. Oh, now it gives me the upgrade. Well, thank you very fucking much for that. Oh, my. I'm, I'm going to get a three now. I'm telling you now, I'm going to get a three, and it's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, fuck off. 
Right, okay. I think we've established there. That's why you want to get the cash climber up. God, oh, he's done it again. Let's just see. In fact, I don't want to go in there. Oh, and it didn't hold. Uh, it can be can be slightly hard work to actually get the... There we are. Right, okay. Let's just see if we can go in on the bonus like this. Wind spin, that's fine. Decent win. We're one gamble and we can exchange over. That's fine. Just don't kill me. Right, okay. That should be all right. Exchange in. Uh, we're so well, we're certainly not going to gamble on a six. Let's just see what can we get there. Super shot or cash bot. Neither is of much interest there. Start. Maybe that'll give me a true skill dapple. And it hasn't. Uh, not much we can do about that, I'm afraid. Oh. Oh. No. Unfortunately, you, you do seem to need a few shots to get it. Uh, you can see here, by the way, it's, it's definitely not natural jackpot board happy there. We saw that on the previous board. It was preferred to do everything apart from let me actually hit a jackpot shot. So this is not a machine at this point that is jackpot happy. We've already established that. So we are, in a way, we're getting a jackpot out of this machine when it doesn't want to give us a jackpot. There's more feature shots in there, isn't there? So we'll go to that one. It's not particularly keen to give us a bloody feature shot. There we are, two feature shots. Oh! Right, okay. Oh, come on, Degsy, I think you can do it. You've had, you've had it once. Come on, let's have it again. Okay. Come on. Another jackpot, we'll have that. There we go. Decent bank now. Is it going to auto collect? No, it will let me keep that. Right, okay. You know what? Let's go around. In fact, can we establish. Yes, it's boarding. We've established straight away that it's boarding. It's put me back on the board straight away. That's fine. So we know it's still boarding. So we'll kill that off. What I'm going to do, we'll go around one more time. We're going to go through another 32 quid. There we are. Another 32 quid. We're going to go round one more time and see if we can get a third jackpot out of it. I'll bring you back when I'm getting to the back end of this 32 quid. Right, here we go. We are coming to the end of those 32 pounds worth of credits. Put an extra fiver in, go back up to 50p, try and get on the board with our red cash climber. And let's see how easy it wants to make it for us this time. You can see here, by the way, why one pound a go isn't the way to go. Even on 50p a go, it's quite hard to get the holds. And on 25, you know, get the holds, get the upgrades. And on 25p ago, it just doesn't upgrade at all. Oh, bollocks, that was that that was a bad shuffle. Why'd you fucking shuffle there, Dexy? What a shit shuffle that was. And the problem with that is nothing will be upgraded. That's the issue there, so I've completely spaffed that one. So fuck it. We we've, we've learned the hard way that you, you don't really want to try and upgrade the, the features while you're in there. So let's just go a this is, has had 128 credits through it. Mega hint. Uh, guaranteed win. Well, that's not really um, bad hold. Let's do a deliberate bad hold because we don't want it to... Ah, it didn't hold. Nope. There's probably some... Well, I say probably. I'm sure there's some finesse that you can do here. Which I am not privy to. Maybe, as I said before, maybe playing for wins. So that's no good. I don't want to go into the feature there because it's just... We haven't got anything red. And now it's probably just going to put me straight in like that. So it is surprising. It can be a little bit awkward. Well, I say, doubtless there's something I could be doing here that I'm not doing. But, oh, hang on, I don't see it. No use, let's go higher than a nine. 
I want to kill it off when I get back on the board. When I get a couple of holes. Come on. No, that's no good. I'm going to hold them. No, that's no good either. Fuck. <laughs> that's just going to lob me straight in. So, I don't think that's any good to us. I'm not going to try and turn it around on the board. I mean, maybe if you were doing it for real money, maybe you'd go the extra mile and try and actually do that. Guaranteed win next. That's no use to us. So, obviously, we could get, like, you could just hold whatever symbol you wanted there and you'd get a win on it. One nudge next, so that's no good to me either. I don't want to get a bonus. Oh, come on. We'll do it like that. Oh, and how many times is it holding here? And it's still not turning Cash Climber Red. Come on. Numbers in view next. That's almost inevitably going to put... I'll, I'll try and hold away from it, which I can't... I don't know. You know what? Yeah, maybe I missed something there. There's, there's something else you can do, but it just wasn't wanting to turn. I'm going to have to put more money in. This is all eating into our profit here. We're going to have to... Oh, come on, you... No, no, I'm going to hold like that. And it spun the cherry back in anyway. And then just puts me straight into the feature. Maybe there's something else to... Oh, fuck off. Well, that's handy, isn't it? I guess we could have a go. Because you always start on the start square, don't you? So what I guess we could do is go higher on that. And then see if we can get a bonus off a true skill dapple. So if I can get a bonus off this, that, that might give me half... Well a chance at least of hitting the upgrade and you can get true skill off the bonus sometimes as well it doesn't seem to like to do it super short just keep just see if it lands on bonus here and it will time out eventually by the way um, super shot cash shot bonus there we are can we get true skill on that no oh and what can we get off that nothing really we can just go back to bonus. See if we can get an upgrade off it. Activate. That's just such hard and you can't. You know what? I'm I'm gonna give in. I'm gonna give in here. Yeah, yeah, bollocks, it didn't even let us win it going lower than a ten, so maybe there's a little bit of finesse in getting the cash climber oh bollocks. I'm getting the cash climber red right on the way up. Oh, kill it off again. Sure, we'll get there in the end. It's a bit mean in one mega hint. What's our mega hint? Let them spin for yellow entry. Well, that, again, that's no good. We don't want to go straight in. We need to get. I can foresee the Let them spin for yellow entry. So it's still doing that. Well, so it's held cash. Um, some of them, but not cash climb. Hold for feature, no, not good because Cash Climber is still not red, look at that. Oh, you dead it really does not make this easy. And it's not red again. And it, I think I kind of get the feeling it's clamming up a little bit. Can, there we are, right. Fight, oh, you've got to kind of work for it, haven't you? So hopefully this bonus, it should put us in. There, where it's basic entry, but we have got our, fuck me, you tight fucker. Right. Uh, lower than an 11, surely. Now we've just got to get our shot on it. Uh, eliminate might be handy there. Oh, extra life, I guess, could be useful. Let's have a look what we get here. Activate. Well, whatever. Two shots. Oh, mega hint. Press hold one. Uh, you know what? I... I half think this will kill me on lower than a 10. Oh, no, let me get away with it. Oh, there we go. Right, okay. Come on. Let's go for the hat trick, Dexy. Come on. One more, one more. Getting a bit clammy.
Yeah, we'll settle for that. 210 quid in the bank. That's big bank. Big bank. It's going to auto-collect some of that, isn't it? So, I think you can see there, these are definitely unship ROMs. I won't go round again. It's possible I would be able to go round again. I won't do that. And by the way, one final thing, just to show this aid. Watch the uh, collect button. Watch the cancel collect button when I start can uh, collecting the bank. See there? It stops flashing. That means it's unchipped. It was very nice of Barcrest to put that little tell in there, wasn't it? There was some corrupt fucking shit going on in the £70 era. And indeed, over the years in general, I think. If we're honest about it. So there you go. We have got unchipped ROMs now. We've definitely got unchipped ROMs for It's Amazing. They will be available over at Desert Island Fruits by the time you come to watch this video. Once more, thank you very much to Wizard for sending those over to me. It's just the final piece of the puzzle. I mean, it's, it's okay to talk about these things, but to actually be able to demonstrate and to now. In a way, I'm glad it's worked out as it has because it's really interesting to show you what the chipped version does and then what the unchipped version does. And you can really see the difference between them. And I think that the unchipped one holds on to that red cash climber feature a lot more tightly because it knows it's a proper jackpot feature where it's fairly blasé about it on the chipped one because it knows it's just going to fuck you off at 10 quid or 20 quid, however it sees fit. There we go, a nice auto collect to the bank there. And let's just have a look at our final stats, by the way, for this session and see how we did. And there you see, we put 119 quid in and we got 210 quid out. That gave us a return to player of 176%, which isn't too shabby, and we won 91 quid. So that's basically the gist of how you did the unchipped ones. Check if it's boarding. Do your £32 worth of credits on 25p a go, 50p a go. Get the red cash climber as quickly as you can. Hit the skill, which I actually managed to do three times on the bounce, thank fuck. And then rinse, wash, repeat. Go back down to 25p a go. Check it's boarding. 32 quid through, up to 50p. Get your red cash climber. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Until it stops boarding. Once it stops boarding, you know it's had it because these are not free wins. And at that point, you have to walk away. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone who makes this stuff possible. So that's Wizard. That's your layout designers. Tommy C, of course, released this DX. Niall Quinn for chipping in with the ROMs. And the people who host the sites. You know, Reduce hosting Desert Island Fruits. People who gather resources. The whole Fruit Machine emulation community. Basically, everyone who makes this stuff happen. Everyone who does something to make this a possibility because this to me is the best thing I could be doing this evening. My Netflix watch list is getting longer and longer. My Amazon Prime watch list is getting longer and longer. I've got video games I want to be playing but you know what? There's nothing more fun for me than sitting down and getting dug into some real good old-fashioned fruit machine emulation and I am very very thankful to have the opportunity to do it as per fruit machine emulation history part one it's magical it was magical 18 years ago and it's still magical today that's it for this one thank you and I'll catch up with you next time but for now it is goodbye